Hi folks and welcome to this little video on finding the length of a space diagonal. Um, got some props with me today, um, this lovely shoebox, um, ignore these little bits that have been chopped out. Um, but this is just to help you visualise what you're being asked to do when you're finding the length of a space diagonal. Um, now if we go to two dimensions first of all, if I maybe take um, this face here, then a face diagonal would be um, based in two dimensions. So we've got a face of our cuboid and the diagonals go from one corner to the diagonally opposite corner. Okay, so that's what we would call a face diagonal. Okay. So that's a face diagonal, but we are interested today in finding a space diagonal. Now, a space diagonal is a diagonal that goes from one vertex, one corner of our cuboid, to the diagonally opposite corner. So if I'm starting at the top corner here, it goes to the bottom corner um, diagonally opposite, and it goes through the space in the middle of the cuboid. Okay, it goes through the space in the middle of the cuboid. Um, so there are a couple of parts to this. Um, first thing we need are the dimensions of this um, cuboid. So it's 18 units long, 13 units wide, and it is six units tall. Okay, so six units up and down. Uh, in the corners here, I've got some right angles marked. And what we're gonna try and do is find the length of the diagonal from this top corner here to the bottom corner down there. Okay. Now, the first thing to do when you're finding the length of the space diagonal is to find the length of the face diagonal on the base here. Okay, so the face diagonal on the base. And so what I've done to make this easy is I'm going to chop the box in half. And hopefully what you can see here is we've got a right angle triangle where we're looking to find this the longest side. Okay, I'm going to draw that little diagram out here so you can see what I'm talking about. So we've got the base of our box, so only focusing on the base. Um, we've got a side of 18 and another side of 13. Okay, so let's find the length of this face diagonal. Um, we can see that we're finding the side that is opposite the right angle, so this is the hypotenuse, I'm going to call it C, and that lets our other sides be called maybe A and B, two of the shorter sides there. We're finding the longest one, we're starting with Pythagoras's theorem that the longest side, the hypotenuse squared, is equal to the two shorter sides squared and added. Quick bit of substitution, and we've got 13 squared plus 18 squared. I'm going to do that all on my calculator at once, so you can just type that in. You've got 13, using your little x squared button, and then we've got 18 x squared button. Oh, I didn't add those. 18 squared, and that gets me 493. I want to find C, and remember this is the area of the square on side C, and to find C, I'm gonna square root that 493. And so square root of 493, and that gives me an answer of 22.2 units, correct to one decimal place. Okay, so now we know the length of our um, face diagonal. So this is now 22.2 .2 units long. Okay, so now we want to find the length of our space diagonal. So I'm just going to turn this box on its side a little bit and let you see what we're actually calculating. So we can see the height here is 6 and we've now got the length of this face diagonal 22.2. .2. We are finding the length from this top corner to this bottom corner down here. And you can see, hopefully, that that still creates another right angled triangle, where we've got the height as one of the um, sides of the right angled triangle, and we've got the face diagonal as the other side. Yeah, so we've got a right angled triangle where we've got the height of six, and then the, the face diagonal as 22 of the other side. Okay, so now I'm gonna try and draw that triangle out. A little bit more complicated, but essentially it looks like this. where we've got our right angle, we've got the height is six, and we've now got the base, which is 22.2. .2. Okay, and this is our face diagonal here. So this is the one that we're trying to work out. And what you can see is, well, it's another right angle triangle. We're finding the hypotenuse again. So again, I can call that C, I could call this E and B, and we're gonna go for 
another round of Pythagoras' theorem. All right, we're going to do our same substitution. I am going to do that on the calculator all at once again. So we've got um, 6 squared plus 22.2 squared, and that gives me 528.84. 528.84, and to find C, I need to square root that 528.84. And if we have a quick look at that, 528.84, and we get a solution of 22.996. Uh, I would write that down first. I'm a little bit out of space, so I am going to go straight to um, 23.0, correct, to one decimal place. Okay, so we've got double Pythagoras going on there. We started with our complete cuboid and finding the face diagonal of the base, at which point, once we knew that, we were making this new triangle with the height and that face diagonal to form another right angle triangle and doing a second lot of Pythagoras and finding that space diagonal. Okay, hopefully that's helpful and helps you get a better um, visual perspective of what's going on when you find the length of a space diagonal.